Recently, when I was visiting the school, I saw a little three-year-old Hispanic girl who had a t-shirt that said, I am my ancestor's wildest dreams. And I love that shirt. And I think it's a great summary of what we've been doing during the Advent season. We have been hearing all of these great stories from the Old Testament and how Jesus is their ancestors, his ancestors' wildest dreams. Never did they imagine how Jesus would come or the way in which he would come. And we see that very beautifully in the readings that we have today. In our first reading, we hear the prophet say that something great is going to happen in the temple. In our gospel today, we hear about how God does amazing things through Zechariah when he is serving in the temple and how he paves the way for, becomes the father of John the Baptist. So it's sort of the prequel to the prequel. <laughs> if, Zach, if John the Baptist is the prequel to Jesus, then we have Je Zechariah who's the prequel to the prequel, and then in our first reading we have the prequel to the prequel to the prequel. So how all of these ways have pointed and looked ahead to Jesus. And I think it's beautiful, especially as we head into this Christmas season, we're reminded of all those who have gone before us, all those great generations of faith who have passed on the faith to us. Just yesterday I was putting up the Christmas tree that my grandmother had, and I remember as a little tyke going over to her house and helping her decorate her tree and putting on the ornaments, and she would tell the story behind each and every one of the ornaments. They all were stories, that memories that were important to her. And so to, I put on those same ornaments yesterday. Father Kyle also told me that recently that oftentimes the depiction of the shepherds in Bethlehem is with three different generations of a young son who's a shepherd, the father, and the grandfather. A great reminder how Jesus came to save every generation. And especially as we head into this Christmas season and we'll interact with family in ways that we don't often get to, whether either in person or hopefully over the phone or united in prayer, it's a great opportunity to Think about how does Christ want to bring healing to family relationships, to make them even stronger, that his coming to us as Emmanuel, God with us, may also bless our families. So to pray in a special way, not only in thanksgiving for all those who have passed on the faith to us, but all those who we still call our family, that Christ has come to us and each and every generation.